So um, this um, effort comes out of um, El LACOL, which is the Liberal Arts Consortium for Online Learning, which Swarthmore um, was part of the initial talks of creating. There were groups of language faculty there who were beginning to talk about what opportunities might exist um, in collaboration with colleagues at other liberal arts colleges. And placement exams was one of the things that came up. And, and one of the frustrations with the placement exams that we have been using is that they basically give you a bottom line score of where a student, um, of what a student has, has scored. And those results basically look like this. So they give you a number. There's really no nuance to that. Underlying this is a bunch of data. It looks like this. Um, so the scores definitely indicate that, you know, a student was giving a series of reading, grammar, vocabulary um, questions, but there really is no way of getting into the detail of what that is or how a student did without you know, really driving yourself insane. So part of the idea here was to give faculty an ability to write questions that had a lot more tags and information associated with them, right? So every question would have a category, a level, and a set of skills associated with it. And what we did for that was to develop a form that hopefully will come up, which is here. Um, for basically to have faculty easily input that. So they would select a question type, instructions, a prompt, correct answers, incorrect answers, a level of difficulty, and when they picked a, categ a, a category, they would then tag the question with a set of skills that was associated with that. What we communicated with the faculty was that all of these things, right, all of this information that you're relating to a question, you can then pull when you're creating reports so that you can begin to dig into what a student who has taken this test knows and doesn't know, where the holes in knowledge are um, and stuff like that. So we talked to faculty about what they might want to see. Um, this is um, a hypothetical form, but we've gone through the process of putting this thing in, um, in Moodle, in a Moodle quiz, um, creating um, basically a vehicle for pulling data out of that, um, correlating it right now with a CSV, although the newest form of Moodle does allow for tagging. Um, and so allowing faculty to begin to see and compare an individual student's results, the breakdown of those results across um, various categories and how that compares to how a group of students scored. This might be an individual student's page. So um, most of these placement vehicles include um, a survey of background knowledge. Um, and in this case, part of what we decided to put in there also was a self-placement thing. So where did the student think they ought to fit in the language sequence? Um, we're guessing that there's going to be a fair discrepancy between where they think they ought to place and where they actually are placing. But I think part of what we're thinking is that where there is a significant discrepancy, that probably ought to prompt a conversation. Um, so again, the break, breakdown in a more nuanced fashion, the ability actually to get to the question level if you wanted to, then the ability to move fairly quickly through reporting. Um, the process, so we started um, a year ago when discussions I think predate that with um, a, um, a hackathon that we hosted at Swarthmore where we had faculty from a number of languages and a number of colleges talking and beginning question development, looking at process and what it was they wanted. Um, we met as um, a set of technologists, Chris Boyland, Liz Evans, myself, and Carly Bourne from, um, um, from Carleton and pulled that together. Um, and then um, what we've done is basically have a framework that's more or less ready to go. Um, if you want to contact me for more information, my information is up there and credits for all the people who participated.